Lenovo Yoga 900 Review Design Starting with the positives. The watch band hinge, previously seen on the Yoga 3 Pro, makes a reappearance on the 900 and really does lend the device a premium feel. Lenovo claims that more than 800 pieces are used to make the hinge, slightly fewer than on the 3 Pro, which allows the easy manipulation of the 360-degree rotating screen. Elsewhere, the laptop has been bulked up in comparison to its predecessor. At 1.3 kg, the Yoga 900 remains light, but, due to the bigger battery, it's almost 0.1 inches thicker than the Yoga 3 Pro. Still, the 0.59 inch thickness remains impressive, putting the Yoga 900 close to the Microsoft Surface Pro 4's 0.53 inches. The metal finish lends the Yoga 900 a MacBook-esque feel. You can choose between a range of somewhat redundantly named metallic finishes, clementine orange, platinum silver, and champagne gold. Screen The Yoga 900 comes with the same 13.3 inch, 3200 by 1800 touchscreen as the 3 Pro. For comparison, the latest MacBook has a 2304x1,440 resolution. The Surface Pro 4 2736 by 1824, and the Dell XPS 13 ranges from 1920 by 1080 to 3200 by 1800. Software Windows 10 comes as standard on the Yoga 900 and runs extremely well, which is to be expected considering its more than adequate spec sheet. What makes Windows 10 and the Yoga 900 a perfect match is the OS's ability to work well in both desktop and tablet mode. The 900 will switch windows between the two modes depending on how you use it. Rotate the screen much past the 90 degree angle, and the OS will transfer into tablet mode, it will ask you initially, but you can set it to do so automatically. Performance This is where the 900 really does the job. As mentioned previously, the review model I was using was the top-end version of the 900 series. As you'd expect, Windows 10 ran perfectly smoothly in both tablet and desktop mode, with programs loading extremely quickly and no sign of any slowdown or crashes. Battery Lenovo claims that the 4-cell lithium-ion battery inside the Yoga 900 will last up to 9 hours, and in our tests it fared well. In fact, the new battery is one of the main improvements over the Yoga 3 Pro, which had mediocre battery life at best. On the video playback test, with the screen brightness set at 50%, the power went from 100% to zero in just over 7 hours. This equates to an average loss of 13% battery each hour. This puts it in the range of the non-Skylake Dell XPS 13 whose figure was between 14 to 18 percent per hour in the same test. When leaving the 900 on and using it every now and then for web browsing and word processing, the battery lost on average around 7 percent per hour.